Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or message for you. So what I like to do, those of you that are new, I like to hold each deck up to the camera um, to see if it's resonating with you. So just starting with deck number one. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Nat, I'm peaked. I've seen a couple of things. <laughs> Is your story or message here in deck number one? All right, or is your story or message here in deck number two? Could your story or message be here? Or could your story or message be here in deck number three? Could your story or message be here? All right, let's go ahead and get started with deck number one. wonder if you're going to have a tower moment. Okay, so we have Temperance, we have the Wheel, the Eight of Knives, Three of Cups, Seven of Wands, Central Issue, Six of Cups, Father of Coin, Groom of Knives. Okay, so off the bat, I kind of got the energy of someone who wants to play matchmaker. Um, I don't know if that is you that wants to uh, bring people together or if something's gonna happen where you are being matched with someone. Um, so definitely looks like a soulmate connection here. Um, looks like you and this person are sharing some sort of moment. There's um, an instant connection that you may have with this person. It could be because, especially because these two just came out together, um, something going on between an earth sign and an air sign. Or it could be something about these two signs that bring you together with someone. Um, but that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. That there also could be Scorpio and Sagittarius involved in this. Um, but it does look like, you know, there's some sort of connection that you're is experiencing or that you're getting ready to experience. Um, it's possible, though, that this is uh, something that's already been established or something that's already taken place. Uh, what I'm also getting for you guys this week, I feel like, is about reunions, reconnecting, socializing, um, and establishing friendships, partnerships. Um, it looks like you are building close connections with people just in general. Uh, definitely looks romantic, but it can also be... Uh, business related um, or just in general you know friend just a general friendship um, whoever you are connecting with friend or romantic or family member it really just feels I want to say like heaven and it's something about it it's just really peaceful really calm really chill um, something's going on where when you connect with this person it's just so natural uh the conversation flows it doesn't feel forced um it's like you're reading each other's minds so there's definitely um a bit of uh, telepathy with a connection that you're sharing with someone and i also feel that um it's not just mental telepathy, but emotional telepathy. So it's like you can feel each other's energies and it's mutual. Um, there's definitely some um, reciprocity here um, with two people connecting and feeling the same thing. This is also a yes for those of you that are wondering how someone feels about you. If you, you're like, I wonder if they feel the same way. I wonder how they feel about me. Um, I feel like the feeling is mutual. So whatever it is that you feel for someone, they feel the same way. 
Um, it's a very calming feeling, very connecting feeling. I feel too that something's getting ready to change. Um, I feel like you are channeling positive energies towards you by changing your perceptive uh, perspective. I feel like something's going on where maybe you are just also tapped into the universe, tapped into nature. Something looks like it's playing out exactly the way it was meant to play out. You are going to end up meeting someone just in the right time where you, you just in time, like um, at the right moment. Um, I feel like you are going to end up finding the right type of job or career um, when a time is right. So everything is like in alignment and divine timing. For those of you that are in established relationships, definitely maybe some sort of engagement coming up um, or marriage. Um, I feel like this is the marriage of two souls in general. Something's happening where I feel like your souls are merging together. Something also may take place first, of course, in the ethers or the astral realm and then manifest in this physical realm. I feel like um, Jupiter is also bringing you luck. And I know Jupiter is getting ready to move into Aquarius, um, maybe within the next week and a half. And for some of you, maybe that's going to be a good transit, depending on what planets uh, Jupiter will be aspecting in your personal natal chart. Um, or what house that is for you in your natal chart. Maybe Jupiter is transiting over your fifth house or over your seventh house or your 11th house of hopes and wishes. So something's going on where I feel like your luck is changing and um, it doesn't matter if it's love or not. It's just that your luck is changing. Now, it does look like something's going on where maybe you become very nervous or you start to second guess your fortune. Maybe you feel like, you know, this can't be happening to me. Don't let your doubts hold you back. Um, something's happening where you start to have anxiety about what's happening or about the future. Um, okay, I can see that that is triggered by the moon. Something's being drudged up like from memories, past uh, traumas get triggered some type of way. But it's just a memory. It's just emotional. It's, it's just a spell. So I feel like it's a temporary spell and it'll pass. Just continue to trust the process. Something that you're doing, like, I feel like you're being guided or things are going or moving in a certain direction. And I feel like just kind of trust it. Uh, this also is indicating that there's going to be victory. Something is going to move in your favor. Mm -hmm. Something happens in your favor. Um, I feel like mm -hmm. something's going on where you are standing out from the crowd. Let's also say that you went to some sort of event. Um, there's an attractive person there. Your friends are attracted to this person, but so are you. I feel like you're the one that is cap captivating this person. So, yeah, maybe all of your friends are attractive, but they, they see you. Um, not saying that you're not, but just saying it's like, no, but yeah, I see something else about you. There's, it's more, I feel like you're going to have an edge based off of spirituality, um, based off of something more so metaphysical. So something is beyond 
uh, the physical appearance. It's more of a spiritual and emotional bond that's going to give you an edge over your competitors. Um, if this is even a job interview, I feel like it doesn't matter, you know, what is on the resume of the other people that's applying for this job. You might be underqualified, but what's going to stand out is your personality and whatever the interviewer feels with you. They're just going to feel that you're a good fit. They're like, I feel I'm going to make a decision based off my intuition. Like I, I know that, you know, there are other people that are more qualified for this position, but you're the one that I feel a connection with. So they're going, you're, you're going to be chosen for something based off of someone's um, uh, intuition, not based off of something that's on paper. Um, yeah. And then it's funny, she looks like a fairy godmother. And, you know, I know this is the wedding deck, wedding deck. Um, so it's a bridal theme, of course. Um, but it does just look like your wishes are being granted or something is like a fairy tale. Fairy godmother. Maybe your godmother has something to do with bringing love into your life uh your godmother maybe she also does spell work because i do see spell work too she's waving her wand um so maybe there is some sort of spell work involved um, maybe you are doing some sort of attraction spell maybe you purchased an attraction spell from someone maybe someone's doing something on your behalf so whatever it is, I feel like it's working. It's attracting whatever your desires are. So your desires will manifest. Now, I also feel that something could be going on where maybe you feel the need to uh, defend or protect your friends or your friends are defending or protecting you. Mm. I also feel that for whatever reason, maybe there's still a need to set boundaries. Um, maybe something's going on. Let's say you're in a relationship and your your partner, your significant other has friends that are, you know, opposite sex or attractive friends. And maybe some of the friends are just coming off a little bit too flirty. So somebody's going to set some boundaries like, look, I understand that's your friend, but that's unacceptable. Your friend shouldn't be calling you in the middle of the night or your friend should, you know, so whatever the situation is, it just looks like there's going to be some boundary settings. You might be setting boundaries with your friends or family members. Um, yeah. I also feel that you are having confidence or courage to speak your mind. Hmm. Now I'm also getting something in regards to a negotiation uh, or making some sort of arrangements. So I don't know what what's going on where you're negotiating or making arrangements, but it just looks like Everything is running smoothly or it's going in your favor. Um, sometimes I feel like you have these conversations or connections with people in your dreams. Um, you're connected to certain people. You might be connected to a star, um, someone who's a celebrity, someone who's far away. I feel too like whoever it is that you're far away from, it doesn't matter because your souls are still bonded. You're still connected. It's like you're close even if you're physically far away. They're still in your energy. They're still within your heart and soul. 
if you don't know who this is, then I feel like maybe you haven't met this person. Hopefully it's not a past person that you don't like. I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting this is um, very uh, receptive energy, something that you would want or desire. Yeah. You and another person, I feel like you're just connected. There's something that is drawing you or pulling you together. Your energies, it, it, it's, it's like when the time is right, you guys will align. And then I'm looking at the star, and it's making me think about the moon and the stars aligning. And here's the moon, the high priestess. Um, yeah, definitely pay attention to your dreams and your intuition. Some things, um, I feel like you're just going to know. Um, like you're, if you're questioning if something's going to happen, if you're questioning your actions, I feel like the answer is just to just keep moving, keep making decisions, just keep playing something by ear because it seems like you're just playing something by ear, but what's really happening is that you're being in, um, guided. You're being spiritually guided. Um, it, you may be guided by your oversoul. You may be guided by your spirit guides. It doesn't matter. There's um, a higher force at hand. Um, at work, rather. I feel, too, like somebody's going to reach out to you and be like, I had this dream that you was married. Or I had this dream that you had a baby. I had a dream that you were living in this house. And somebody's going to tell you, like, some good they're going to tell you about a good dream they had about you. Um, and I feel like whoever this is, this is someone psychic. And I, I almost feel like this is someone's aunt. Or they're like an aunt. They have a very nurturing nature to them. They're very intuitive, psychic. They're tapped in. Um, they can see beyond the veil. Yeah. I feel like someone's coming to you talking about uh, a future, some sort of future prediction. They also might literally be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, maybe an Aquarius. Now, also in regards to a timing situation, I feel like there's confirmation coming as we move into Capricorn season. You're going to start to feel some sort of changes happening. You're like, I feel these changes. I felt that. I can feel it. And uh, you also might just start getting nervous because you can feel that there are some sort of changes happening or someone's getting ready to enter your life you can feel it someone may work as a tailor seamstress or designs clothes for a living You might be nervous about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do feel like there's someone around you or someone that you can't stop thinking about. You're constantly thinking about someone um, mm. and before I watched this video, I was listening to the the 90s song constantly by Immature, but I like the remix, um, with the video and they was like all in a white and stuff and doing their little moves. Every now and then that song just comes back to my memory. Um, but that also could have been some sort of a channeled message for someone, um, Maybe someone is constantly thinking about you 
and also expressing how they feel about you in creative ways. Someone is very clever and very tricky in getting a point across. I also feel like someone is distracted by your beauty or your light or you are distracted by someone's beauty um, or someone's status. Don't let someone's status affect you because you might feel like, oh my God, this person is a politician and they're into me. Oh my God, this person is a rapper, they're into me. Oh, this person's an actor and they're into me. Like, don't let, don't be fooled or don't be distracted by someone's uh, public image. Their public image is different from how they are in private. Uh, this person is very nurturing in private. They're a different person. This person wears two hats, two faces. You wouldn't think that someone is nervous about approaching you, but they are. I really feel like, and not for everybody, but maybe for one or two of you, there is a famous person that you're connected with and they're human just like you. You might think because they have, you know, just all this power, um, which they do, but at the end of the day, they're still a human being and they have feelings and they fall in love um, and they get nervous, you know, so, and I know that's hard to, to believe because if that was happening to me, I would still be in denial. I'm not gonna lie. But I, I you know, I, I'm getting the ener energy and the message that, you know, they're human just like you. So yes, this person, um, can still be nervous about approaching you or being around you or talking to you. I'm getting the name Martha or Maritha. Hmm. At, at the end of the day, someone is going to pursue their dreams, whether it's a person or a situation or an object like some you're either going to pursue your dreams or someone's going to pursue you because you are the person that they dream of something seems very magical mm. and i also feel like there's people trying to to work on your behalf Spiritually, it could be angels, spirit guides, but I also feel like it could just really be family members that are um, doing things to make sure that you achieve a certain goal. They're assisting you or they're protecting you and guarding you. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to deck number two, which is actually an oracle deck. We have teach, rebuild, there's that tower energy. <laughs> um, dedicated effort. Just breathe. Opportunity beckons. Overall energy, we have strengthening bonds. Heal. And healing begins. Okay, so 
I feel like maybe something was going on where you weren't ready for, you weren't ready for something. You weren't ready to move forward. You weren't ready to face the music. Um, you weren't ready to fall in love. Something's definitely been focused on a heart in these two cards. Both people's heart centers are glowing. So maybe for some of you, this is about your heart, um, heart chakra being activated or triggered or something's going on. And it looks like you were hesitant. And I feel like because this is the number six, this is indicating that something is mutual. Something is your calling. Um, whatever has been holding you back, it's time for you to break that those chains of fear. Something was holding you back, and it's time for you. It's time for you to face the music. Um, I feel like the healing begins. It's time to have a conversation, and it is some sort of an opportunity that is being presented to you. I feel like something was a missed opportunity, or something that you passed up at one point. You're going to have an opportunity to go in that direction again. Maybe you turned down a job offer. Maybe you turned down a love offer. Um, maybe you missed out an offer or to put a bid on a home you wanted or an apartment you wanted. But I feel like whatever that is, is the opportunity is resurfacing. Um, I feel like maybe you weren't ready at first because you couldn't see something. Um, your judgment could have been clouded. You weren't mentally or emotionally ready for something, but now you are. I feel like you kind of tested the waters or you took a peek um, or you got a glimpse of your future, like something happened and now you're kind of welcoming something with open arms. I just kind of feel like you're like, okay, universe, bring it. I'm ready. And I feel like now this is, uh, you know, you're moving towards uh, a new direction a new beginning. Mm, I feel like you're getting ready to go down some sort of an interesting path. Something's very mysterious about it and enchanting. I'm getting enchantment, enchanting. I don't know too if that's referencing a movie um, or if you are someone that is into fairy tales and things about castles and things of that sort. I don't know. Doesn't have to be, but I am getting that something is very enchanting. Maybe this was a dream that you had. I feel like a path has been cleared that was previously blocked. Now, again, that could be internally which is really still just something reflecting back to you, a blocked path, um, or something could have been literal. Um, let's just say a quick example, you wanted to apply for a job, but they were like, it's blocked right now. No ap applications are being taken until, you know, s this date. So there was some sort of restriction or a block Whatever those restrictions were, I feel like they've been cleared or lifted. There's no more barrier. Some of you are ready to walk your path in spirituality or career. Maybe you thought you couldn't handle some sort of responsibility of something, but now you're ready. You were like, I'm not ready to be responsible for uh, a promotion. I'm not re ready to be responsible for a child. I'm not ready to be responsible for a commitment. But I feel like whatever that is, you're now ready. Some of you, it is meant for you to teach or to help others find their path. Um, this can also be you getting advice from someone, someone, someone might be a life coach or, you know, it's time for someone to go down that path. I feel like people are going to be listening to you. You have some sort of wisdom 
or knowledge that's been given to you, like you can break things down. You can help people organize or structure, bring some sort of structure to people's lives. You can help people make sense of something. Um, you can help people find their way. Um, and just in general, like a, especially like a job situation, it's the same message. It's, it's like you are that person that you're like a directory. Like people come to you for direction or guidance at work. Um, so you might work in HR. Maybe people need like, can you help me? Like what paperwork do I need to fill out? Or, um, or if you're just a random worker, maybe people just like to come up to you and talk talk to you about their problems. I remember I, it was like that for me. And that was really when my Jupiter became activated too. I, I started running my Jupiter Dasha. Um, those of you that study Vedic know, know what that is. Um, and it was so weird. I would just like sit down and get ready for work and people would be walking down the aisles because I worked in a call center. And coworkers would just like see me and then just start it was like a trance and then they would just like start walking towards me and then they would sit down next to me and just start venting um just so random and then it would happen also like when i was out at the store people would just look at me walk up to me and start telling me like the deepest intimate secrets and problems they were going through and i would just be like wow like this is really bizarre um but I feel like something is happening where maybe you are meant to give guidance. And then it's funny how Rebuild is here because I feel that something is like a barriers are being broken. Um, Non-traditional. Something is going to be groundbreaking. There's no more rules or the rules have changed. This can be to apply to anything in your life. Let's say on a mundane level, again, something that you were trying to do, uh, there was a barrier. There were so many rules. Um, no, you're, you don't meet this criteria. No, you don't have these qualifications. You wanna go to school for something. You can't have this class unless you have this class. For something's changing. It's like, okay, that goes out the window. You can you can study whatever you want. You don't need a prerequisite. Um, you can, you don't need this type of degree to, to hold this position anymore. You can just, you can just do it because you're good at it. You know, so something's happening where there's no more rules. Um, also something in regards to tradition, family traditions, I feel like they're being broken. It's like, okay, we don't celebrate Christmas anymore. I know we, we were raised as tradition, but we don't do that anymore. Um, so whatever was written in a book, whatever was a way of life, I feel like is just forever being changed. If this is a relationship, I feel like a foundation had to um, uh, fall apart. Something had to fall apart so that it could be rebuilt. There were cracks in the foundation and that foundation had to be, um, those cracks had to be ex exposed or some sort of imperfections had to be revealed um, so that you could start over. But I do feel like something is going to have a stronger foundation. And I love how, you know, this is very equivalent to the Eight of Pentacles too. So it's like rebuild, definitely rebuilding. That's just being reiterated. It's time for you to establish the life that you want, the material life that you want, especially financially. Those of you that invest in stocks, something's getting ready to crash. The economy's getting ready to crash. Everything, if you want to look at it from uh, a worldwide standpoint, Something's crashing because it needed to be rebuilt. The whole political system. Um, and I don't like to get into politics because I don't side either way. But just, and I don't really even keep up with certain things. I, I hear things 
um, here and now, especially now because my mom and sister live with me and they are CNN, diehard CNN fans. So every time I'm downstairs doing something, I can hear CNN. I'm like, oh God, I hate the news. Um, but I kind of like that things are falling apart politically because that needed to happen. There was, I don't care if Donald Trump, I still feel like, um, Donald Trump is probably really low key, doesn't even really want to maintain his seat. He's just, he's just causing a ruckus to bring stuff to people's awareness. That's what I personally feel. I might be wrong, but I think he just wants to bring things to people's attention uh, on a grand scale. So, and that's exactly what's happening. It's like, look, the laws are flawed. The police system is flawed. Um, the political system is flawed. Religion is flawed. Like all this stuff that had rules and structure, um, it was flawed. Um, it, or it's outgrown itself, you know, it's can't keep doing it. Let's even say that certain knowledge was stolen and built on, um, this system was built on knowledge that was stolen. Like, yeah, maybe people have gotten away with that for the past two, three hundred years, but it's like, okay, enough of that. Like, it's gonna, the lies have to be revealed, truth has to come out, and things have to be rebuilt. Um, now, I also feel that in a situation where if your job, if there's a sudden job loss, don't worry. I feel like your life is going to re, uh, be rebuilt. Your finances are going to be rebuilt. That's okay. Either you're going to start your own business or you're going to find something else. So I feel like it's going to work out in the end. Something very transformative is happening in your life. If you are artistic or creative, um, I feel like you might be throwing out your work or scrapping something and breaking breaking something that you sculpted you're like I don't like it it's okay you know rebuild it make something new and it's making me think of um mosaic art how it's built off of broken pieces and it creates something even new and more beautiful so i feel like something's very mosaic about your life or about your situation This is also reminding you to just stay calm. Don't stress about these changes that are happening. Don't stress about entering a new relationship. Um, don't worry about making your own rules when it comes to traditional beliefs. I feel like a foundation is going to be established and I'm looking at 44 and eight. So maybe multiples of four could be significant for you. Um, and then like I was saying something about opportunity beckons, um, it looks like whatever you weren't ready for before you're ready for now, you've got some sort of stability in your life. You've, you're financially stable, you're emotionally stable, you're mentally stable to handle something now. I don't know what that something is for you, but you're ready. Um... I'm also getting a possibility of people waiting or the world is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you to make a move. Take the knowledge that you've stored, take that stored knowledge to establish something in your life, to establish a relationship, to establish a career. Yeah, you've already got some sort of stored knowledge. It's, it might be out of order, but it's like rebuild it how you want to rebuild it. There is an infinite number of possibilities I'm getting. Hmm. Something also looks like an audience, having an audience. Um... It's kind of like you have an audience. People might be watching you. Maybe you're a literal teacher and there are people that are watching you. 
Maybe you're some type of performer. Maybe this is spiritual. Your spirit guides are just like watching you <laughs> as you're on this stage of life. It's like a performance for them. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, the time is is now. If you're wondering when something's going to happen, it's, it's your move. Yeah, I feel like the ball is in your court. And it's funny because there's a ball here and it's on his side. He has control of this ball. He can turn around, pick it up and toss it wherever he wants. It's up to him. Hmm. Some of you, it is meant for you to heal or something about what you do is very therapeutic or healing. I feel like you are touching people's lives. You've also healed yourself. I'm getting something about adoption for some of you for whatever reason I'm getting the energy of a mother I'm also getting something about homeschooling I feel too like you have enough information enough stored knowledge and information to get started with your own business if that's what you're wanting to do um hmm some of you i feel like want to build your own home instead of purchasing you know a house that someone has lived in you might be thinking about getting your own building your own home from the ground up or that might be the best bet for you those of you that have um uh, i see a real estate license too before i forget somebody's going to get their real estate license uh, but i see for some of you like maybe you've been looking for a home you can't find that perfect home that's because it's meant for you to just build it um you don't have to like get your hands dirty um, and literally building your house but you know going to one of those companies it's like yeah pick out a floor plan then you can customize it I feel like maybe that's your best bet um, what else am I getting here I feel that someone's also going to have the courage to talk about feelings referring to romance. Something's going on where someone is having the courage to express uh, the fact that they're attracted to you. Mm, okay, some of you might find out that something, uh, something in regards to fertility is either good news or bad news. You might find out that you're pregnant or you might find out that you're not pregnant. Whichever is going to make you happy. Mm, you also might be receiving some sort of results back. <sighs> it's either, you know, testing results, any type of testing results. It could be for school, uh, clinical, but it looks like there are some sort of results coming back. Something's being confirmed. I really feel like something has to do with um, birth or fertility. In order to get pregnant, there also may be some sort of rigid regimen you have to follow. Like scheduled sex or something. I feel like rules are being broken though. 
even if the doctor does instruct instruct you to do something, I feel like you are breaking those those rules or you're going rogue. Someone was also trying to protect their image, but I feel like that's going to be shattered or exposed. Yeah. Mm. So I'm getting the energy of someone who felt the need to protect or hide between hide behind a wall, a mask. And I feel like whatever someone was hiding behind is getting exposed. This can even be like hair. Like if someone identified with their hair and their hair was always in their face, I feel like somebody is just like cutting off all their hair and exposing their face. They're like their vulner vulnerabilities are being exposed. Um, their hiding space is being exposed. Now also if someone did have a, a secret getaway or a secret home or something like that, I feel like it's being exposed. Something won't be a secret anymore. Something that was a secret will be readily available. I do kind of see like a marriage falling apart or someone doesn't want to be married anymore. Hmm. There's also something in regards to that moving or relocating. I don't know if someone is um, being evicted or if this is just a voluntary leave. If it's a voluntary leave, it's very unexpected. Someone is moving under unexpected circumstances. It just happens. Someone may have to rebuild their uh, whole life. Some of you could have had a hard time letting go of some sort of bad habit or very good at hiding your emotions or depression. But I'm also getting something about depression or fear has been the culprit, has been holding you back. Some sort of emotional blockage that, um, I feel like it's been a breakthrough though. Like you're realizing what that blockage was. Even if it was, um, even if it was some sort of spell work, it's like something has been broken or is about to be broken. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to deck number three. We have the lovers, the emperor, ace of swords, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Overall Energy, Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, Strength. Okay, for some of you, I feel like maybe you have been 
um, holding back how you feel or someone around you has been holding back how they felt about you or felt about a situation. Um, but I feel like you've been refraining from expressing yourself for whatever reason. Um, there has been a need for you to get clarity. I feel like there is a need for you to process your thoughts. Now, I also feel that you are being observed. There is some sort of uh, decision that you're going to have to make that could alter the course of your life. I feel like you're coming into contact with someone. <sighs> This person, you can either choose to leave them alone or choose to move forward with them. Mm. Hmm. I'm kind of getting like insert here, <laughs> insert here. So it's kind of like something's being edited. Now that could be something that you're working on, you know, writing or just career wise, or maybe you were composing something and you, you're, editing something as you go. If you're single, I feel like this is good because it looks like you are connecting with someone. Like you're going to make contact with someone who you just feel this connection with and it feels like you were meant to be together or someone was just put into your life. Insert. I feel like someone is being inserted into your life for a reason. Um, it's not a coincidence that you were placed here. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of important decision that you're needing to make, especially in love, but it could be anything. Um, it usually still either way starts with some sort of a conversation. Maybe it is just about a job. Well, had you not gone to the store that particular day at that certain time, you wouldn't have ran into this person that had the hookup. You know, this person knows a person that knows a person. Um, and you got into a conversation with them and that changed your life because now, you know, you have a new career path, a new job or a new interview. Um... But in a love situation, if you're in a relationship, it's concerning um, because if you aren't the one that has to make a decision and it could be that I'm picking up on your partner's energy and they have recently met someone, definitely if someone has been acting uh, different from you or more silent, I feel like someone else has got this person's attention. They've been talking. Um... That's if someone's been acting weird in, in a relationship. But if you're single, this is, you know, just to me indicating that you're connecting with someone. Um, now, I was getting this in a, a other reading, but I kind of see this here too, like being introduced to someone, someone or someone being like uh, playing Cupid and bringing two people together. I get someone who's also overprotective, very dominating. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you've met your match. Um, but I feel like maybe there's power struggles between the two of you. There's a mutual attraction. Sometimes I feel like you and this person, when you feel guarded, they feel guarded. It's like you guys mirror each other. Um, when you feel insecure, they feel insecure. When they feel a certain type of way, you start to feel a certain way. It's like you guys take turns reacting to each other's inner feelings. Hmm. Now, I also feel that there is someone's trying to block you from their thoughts or you are trying to block someone from your thoughts. It may be that someone's trying to communicate or trying to get your attention uh, in a way that's more so telepathic or metaphysical and you look like you don't want to deal with it. You're like, stop, like, no, come to me directly. I feel like there's also something like you might receive some sort of message but you don't want to respond. I don't feel like you're going to respond immediately. You're like, well, 
I don't know, I'm thinking about that. You start typing something or texting something and you, you just kind of like back out and you're like, I'm going to wait to send this. I don't want to send it yet. Uh, I feel too like you, whatever decision that you've got to make, don't make a decision just yet. Just kind of wait. There's some information that's getting ready to come out that's going to help you make this decision is going to give you more clarity. So I do see you getting clarity and then you feeling like, okay, I got this. I also see a situation where there's going to be communication and then cold feet and then motivation again. Motivation to pursue. Someone's trying to find out some information from you, but they're blocked. I don't know if they're trying to find um, find out your phone number, where you live, or like if you're not on social media, somebody might be trying to find out if you are or you are on social media, but your pages are private. Your your stuff is you know mostly private. I feel like somebody is trying to find out information about you, but they're blocked. Someone's definitely uh, been thinking about you a lot too, but they haven't said anything. You might feel this person's energy. Um, I feel like if you feel like you're being watched, more than likely you're being watched. It does seem like you are under surveillance. Now that can go, that doesn't just have to be love. That might be um, something else going on where it's like you're under surveillance. Now, it also could be that, you, you know, someone just works as a security guard and, you know, you surveil people. Um, but yeah, somebody definitely could work as a security guard. Uh, someone also might need to go into witness protection. Something looks like a police officer or working in law. Hmm. Now, I also feel that bait, someone is waiting for you to take the bait, but I feel like you're going to take it. Even if you feel like, oh, I'm glad, thanks for warning me, I'm not going to take the bait. I still kind of feel like you end up taking a bait. I feel like your curiosity is going to get the best of you. Even if you're suspicious about something and you're like, oh, no, I was already warned about that. I kind of feel like your suspicion might get the best of you. Hmm. If there's someone that wants to connect with you, I feel like this person is very stubborn um, and they're very disciplined. They want to d direct how this relationship plays out. Could be dealing with the uh, Gemini. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, or an Aries. I feel like someone's going to communicate with you uh, through a private account or through a private, like something's private, or like the photo is hidden. Someone is going to pursue you, and this person is a very private person. They're very secretive. Someone likes soul food or greens. <laughs> I feel like someone is also working on perfumes or scents. You may be having a connection with someone that is um, something's taboo about it, or maybe you don't want to go there. Something could be like Pandora's box. You're like, I don't want to open that, that box, but I feel like it's already been opened. Um, and then like I was saying something about curiosity. So I do feel like curiosity gets the best of you. 
there's a fantasy that you might be having or you're fantasizing about something. You might be turned on by someone because it's a taboo situation. Maybe this person's older. Maybe you like this person because they remind you of a father figure or a mother figure. Um, maybe you like this person because they're in a relationship or because of their, well, the power part isn't taboo, but something's taboo about your reasoning for being attracted to this person. Um, I also feel like you've been communicating with someone in dreams. Something's going to seem too good to be true. You're going to keep asking, are you dreaming? Um, I feel like you want to be pinched. Mm. I feel like someone also is going to communicate with you and then they're waiting for you to respond. They're like, I wonder what they're going to say. You also may get invited to, um, I feel like somebody might get invited to one of those, those naughty parties where people wear the mask, um, like eyes wide shut type situation. Like you can go in different rooms and there's different fantasies in each room. Hmm. Now, I know that's not going to be for everybody, but I am picking up that particular situation for somebody. Or invited to join someone who's already in a commitment. It's like, this is my husband's fantasy or this is my wife's fantasy. Mm. I feel like someone is offering something to you and it's, it's a tempting offer. It also could be something about a job or career, but something about it is taboo. Maybe somebody is like, hey, you know, we'll pay you to, to, to be naked for and stand in front of this. And, you know, it's going to pay a lot of money or, you know, <laughs> we're making these calendars and we thought about you like something's is is like a taboo job offer or there's some taboo stuff going down at the job or with the client or somebody that you work with Someone also might be into taboos like wanting to get caught. So I'm picking up a little bit of uh, exhibitionism. Having sex in inappropriate places. I got the name Eric for somebody. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, there is someone that is watching you or keeping tabs on you. They think of you all the time. They're very controlled with how they communicate or what, with what they want you to know. I feel too like there's this powerful person that also suffers from uh, emotional traumas or insecurities. Someone is also coming off as a loner or very unusual. Someone's very unusual. They think outside of the box. They're not, they're like, they call themselves an alien. They might view themselves as an alien 
or maybe you view them as an alien. You're like, you are bizarre. You're weird. But I feel like you like it. I feel like you like this person because they stand out, because they're so unusual. You might try to fight your attraction for this person or deny it at first. Let me look at this Two of Swords. Private account, private. <sighs> okay, I heard something about private account. So, of course, that could be something like um, Finsta or, you know, just some other type of secret account that someone has, like a backup page. Someone might invite you to that or want to talk to you through there. Financially, I'm getting something about starting a private account. Say, especially if you have a relationship and you have a joint account, something might be going on where you go and open a private account. Hmm. I'm seeing something being discussed in private and not wanting to be judged, like people saying, like, I don't want to be judged um, or I don't want people knowing about this. Someone also may be entrusting you to keep a secret. Hmm. Something's going on, too, in regards to a project. There's some sort of unfinished business or some sort of secret project that somebody's working on, some sort of creative project. It's like top secret or it's under wraps. Um, I'm getting something about strawberries. Strawberries? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that is about strawberries. I don't know. Um, I'm also getting something about fertility. There's some sort of secret in regards to who the father is, the real father or the real mother. I feel like someone's also applying for something to find out and then have to wait for the results. Someone also might be peeing on a stick waiting for results. There's something secret about who the father or mother is. Paternity results are secret. Or finding out if someone is pregnant or not. All right, let me just look at the two of wands. I feel like someone wants something a secret until it's, they have their next move figured out. It's like, I don't want to tell them this until I know what I'm going to do next. is plotting to leave I see some sort of a secret plot or plans to leave oh somebody getting ready to start all over to give everything up they're like I'm starting I'm starting completely over I'm giving everything up someone might be getting ready to resign from a high-ranking position or just from their job in general someone may be voluntarily leaving, packing up and leaving, or just moving away. 
someone is going to do something completely out the blue and they feel like it's their calling. like someone's been in hiding because they've been sad or depressed but they're not sad or depressed anymore someone is ready to take a leap of faith yeah yep so those are the messages that I have for you guys so Hopefully it resonates. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Cindy, love, and grace.